Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Stars with Stasi. where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a uh, monthly reading, May 2023 for Gemini. Hello, Gemini. Welcome, welcome. If you've not been to my channel before, <clears throat> I'm going to reel it in in a second because I'm excited to do this reading, y'all. I literally, this will be the third attempt to do this for Gemini. The cards keep flipping all over the place. So many messages are coming in. I've had to literally just pick four Oracle cards from four different decks for you all um, <laughs> to, to set the theme beforehand just to even get started. So I'm excited because the same theme is coming over and over again. So in short, do not wait, create. All right. That's exactly how it came through to me about seven months before I got involved in making this channel. So I can't wait to see what you guys are going to build. <clears throat> so again, welcome. I'm Stasi. Like I said, lots of energy here. Um, one moment. Hey all and welcome to all of these spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination. Hail and welcome. Please give me the words to guide Gemini. Thank you. All right, Gemini, listen, I'm just going to get started. There's a lot going on here. So over and over again, I kept getting this overwhelming message for you guys to not to wait to create. <clears throat> and I'm being reminded, excuse me, they're, they're coming through. And this is so active, this room right now. So I was being reminded that in April you were asked to review your passion project versus what it is that you do for your like everyday life, right? And I feel like a lot of you did that. So excellent. Because now this is what has come up for you in May. I I'm not even kidding. I, first of all, purchased a new deck. It's Starseed Astro or star, see, oh, too many voices, <laughs> Star Codes Astro Oracle, all right, by Heather Robbins. I, listen, this is for fun at this point. I hope it turns into something, but y'all, like, there's not links making me money. This is just, I thought this deck was really cool, and we're gonna try it out. So, just got it moments ago. Excited. So I, I plan to use this particular deck to see what your starseed family wants to communicate with you. And Gemini, like it was popping out. They want you to explore your fifth house, passion, right? So the fifth house represents your creativity, um, children, self-expression. Yes. So they want you, your starseed family, is asking you to lean into your gifts, to lean into your fifth house, to explore, um, you know, even your romance, right? Like if you're in a relationship, re-enliven it. And if you're looking for love, I feel it deeply that this is a time for you, Gemini. Um, also a reoccurring theme in your pre-shuffles came out as taking time to breathe, to relax, to rejuvenate. I sense that many of you were really playing that Gemini balancing act <clears throat> and might have tired yourselves out in the month of April. Um, I remember that for Aquarius, it came up that way, that they were burning the candle at both ends. And I feel very strongly, Gemini, that that's what also is happening on your end. Um, the air signs in general, I think, had this overwhelming sensation of being... Um, inundated with downloads, ideas. It, it was a lot, I think, for you guys. So um, taking time to breathe, but of course we are back to spirit is asking you to create, right? So your starseed family is asking you to get into your fifth house of creativity. And then I pull this card and sure enough, from the witch's anatomy, get in touch with your creative side. It's going to lead you to healing, Gemini. I promise you this. If you are a Gemini who is struggling with any aspect of your health, spiritual, mental, physical, explore leaning 
all the way in to your passion projects, as scary as that might sound. Carve some time out, do it little by little, but the more you focus on it, especially in this planetary energy, you're gonna bring it about, you're gonna bring about what you think about, Gemini, I promise you that. Creating is going to lead you into your happy vibe. Happy vibes, clear out, ick. However, this came up for you twice. I've done three shuffles, like I said, twice this came up for you. So I don't know what's going on, Gemini, because I feel like you guys do this very well. Spirit's asking you to practice humility. Oh, I just received the down. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so grateful. Okay, I'm going to read it and then I'm going to explain it because I was confused at first. Approach life humbly. No one is better than another. Keep your ego in check. Humility is the practice of being simple and valuing simple things. So what Spirit is saying to me is that you are a sign that is gifted with both the knowledge and the gift of gab. <laughs> so for that reason, stay humble because what it is that you have to offer, the masses are gonna need to benefit from your creation, okay? The masses, all the people are gonna wanna know what Gemini has to say. And so you're gonna have to continue to stay in that place of humility no matter how big your expression gets. And I can see clearly that once you step into all the things that make you vibrate higher, you are going to affect the masses. I can see it. Gemini, as you guys have just, the universe has really, I always get this sensation that, I don't know, spirit loves them a Gemini because you are equally smart and personable. So stay that way because you're about to get more gifts from spirit <laughs> and you know we can't have you getting all high and mighty we kind of need you we need you to be the attainable air sign <laughs> gemini no offense to my other air signs libra aquarius <clears throat> but gemini we rely on your personality <laughs> all right what else do we have for our gemini's okay what's this Dragon's Horde, this continues to come up. <clears throat> protecting the future, number 12. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future, number 12. Number 12 also reduces to number three, which on the traditional Rider weight deck is going to be your Empress energy, which is again creating, actually. Thank you, Spirit, for sealing that up. And with this protecting the future, I continue to relate this card right here to protecting... <clears throat> your financial future actually in this time of Pluto going into Aquarius, right? So, or right now we're in that. So, um, yes, protecting the future. I, but I'm also, I, I got to tell you, I really sense strongly that whatever you're building or whatever you create is going to um, pave, 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 a path for the future. Yes, thank you. <laughs> ah. All right, so yes, the number three does come up with Empress energy and protecting the future could also be, listen, we're moving into a time where artificial intelligence is really going to take over just about every mundane task that exists. So this is a time that we're coming back to philosophers, astronomers, astrologers, you know, all the weird shit. Like, I love it, <laughs> right? And so the future isn't just about the coins because I think that the very construct of money as we know it today is going to change. Be forward thinking, you know? It, it's, look around, things are changing rapidly. And so protect the future really may be just speaking the oral traditions, speaking the truth. I once received a download that was very, very moving. It was speak only the truth and heal worlds with your words, Gemini. And you have that gift naturally, right? You have the gift of gab. People want to hear what you have to say because you can back it with the intelligence. And now that we're stepping into a world of a different type of healing, your skills are needed. I promise you that. Oh, yes, Gemini. This is exciting. What is this? Gemini, I can't make it up. Mindful group 
think. See, it's time to stop being, you know, under the covers. We need one another. This is a time of community, group think, you know, plowing forward because we have to be forward thinking. And Gemini, you have a way of explaining those really difficult things. Like you guys are natural teachers. Mm. All right, one more. That's also number, Gemini, stop. Look at this. Look here. <clears throat> thank you, Spirit. I'm. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so grateful. Okay. Dragon's Horde protecting the future reduces to number three, right? And I said three was Empress Energy in the Rider Waite deck. Who's who's Emperor? Who's the Emperor? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> There's too many. Who's the Emperor? Emperor is number four. This group think number 40 reduces to four and zero. Zero being the cosmic, you know, egg, God's womb, so to speak, limitless potential, all that is creation's finest, because it's the tabula rasa, blank slate. But the group think, the mindfulness, the four is emperor energy. If you step into your gifts and lean into your magic, I am telling you, this is that you're going to build it. You're going to build it. You're going to teach it. You're going to, oof, oh my gosh, I'm having like Gemini FOMO. <laughs> Listen, I need to find me some Gemini friends. The farther gate, a bold step forward. The same cards come up over and over again. This has like 60 some cards. I don't know a lot. It has more than 55. <laughs> this is number 55, which reduces to number 10, the one and the zero. Oh, I love it. The zero in the Rider weight deck is the full, right? So the the one starting from the very beginning and the number one is the magician. He who can create everything like ah oh, take it do it gemini do it do it do it like i don't even know what you're doing yet because we haven't gotten that far in the reading but we're like 15 minutes in and all i can do is pump you up all right let's get to it gemini i i, I don't know what you guys are about to be responsible for but i can tell you that like i said three times i've tried this and i can already let you know that this is a reading of how you are going to benefit the greater good in the community. And it isn't by doing your mundane desk job, that's for sure. No offense, I know we all need to make a living. I believe I told you all last month. So let's re-clarify. Please do not empty out your 401k account or reinvest your monies based on at stars with Stasi. <laughs> because no matter what I've done, in my lifetime, I am not your financial advisor. I'm a tarot card reader. Thank you. But I listen, I'm here for it when you when you make it rich. Don't forget about Stars with Stasi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Best and brightest current energies, Gemini. Knight of Pentacles, what are you guys doing? This oh, I can't wait. King of Swords. I mean, you're not messing around. Six of Wands. Yes, we're going to celebrate. All right. All right. All right. That's it. That's it. So I got it. I got excited. Got ahead of myself. All right, Gemini. Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight in the deck. Slow and steady wins the race. Stable. Love me, Knight of Pentacles. You are in that energy, right? Of like taking action to make that stability in your life happen. King of Swords energy, it's like being very decisive, making decisions from a place of knowing, right? You have your facts in order, you know, maybe you've hired someone. <clears throat> King of Swords can really be about having um, a professional handle the thing. So maybe you are, maybe you are the professional or you sought out counsel to build this business. You've got the Six of Wands energy, celebration, community, hanged man, new perspective on things, taking time inward. Gemini, I know that in April, you all had a very busy month. Um, I know Aquarius, same thing. 
Libra too, right? Burning the candle at both ends. The air signs were ultra activated for whatever reason, uh, planetary or otherwise, in April. Lots of revisions being asked of us as, you know, humans. And so with the eclipse season and the uh, retrograde and all of that, a lot of us spent some time inward. We have this uh, <clears throat> karma here. Excuse me, Gemini. Mm, they really come through. So <clears throat> karma. I feel like you guys have been sitting in that dark night energy <clears throat> and have like really taken in these lessons. Karma's number 20, two zero. Again, it, this is about really looking inward and releasing it, right? Mm. Three of Pentacles energy, Page of Pentacles. Those were bottom of the deck. So again, uh, these are cards of studying a craft and, and doing it for the love of it. And really, you know, the Page of Pentacles, this is someone who's youthful, excited. And the Three of Pentacles is really about creating it, right? In the, in the Rider weight deck, that's, um, I think, two people consulting with one person. And it's not coming to me, the image, because I'm looking at this. And here with the Three of Pentacles, you know, in this deck, this is really somebody sitting there like studying, focusing, manifesting, building, creating. And the Page of Pentacles is like a student, someone who does it for the love of it. So we go back to you leaning into your passion project, um, doing that thing that is uniquely yours, Gemini, because that is something that for real you guys have, that, that individual unique footprint. We all do, but you guys have some of the wildest ideas <laughs> and you know the universe needs it right you guys come up with the more complex stuff and then have a way of disseminating that information mm -hmm. and spirits asking you to do more of that <clears throat> and you're going to do really well with it very well and i see that you're in the energy oh look who's who's popping out what is this for the record this is four of wands but i'm gonna put that back in the deck another card of community and celebration potentially marriage all right recent past for gemini please recent past thank you all right so the star you were you know hope the fool didn't i just talk about that the world okay one second high priestess and the Empress. I know I'm your favorite psychic, so if you wanted to uh, drop a comment below, you can tell me because we've been talking about the Empress. <laughs> I brought up the Fool, right? I just wanna clarify that these are things we've just discussed. <laughs> and so this is exciting because this is verifying and validating that your intuition, first of all, actually, let me reel it in because Gemini, I just realized that in your recent past, you have all major arcana cards. You saw me shuffle this deck at nauseum. All right. So let's go through it. You have the full energy. Wow, Gemini, hold on. This is so much. No wonder all of this energy in this room. You guys have completed life lesson after life lesson after life lesson. Oh. Congratulations, Gemini. I mean, honestly, now that I'm really thinking about it, <clears throat> for major arcana cards, first of all, are about life lessons, right? The big picture. And recently, I mean, you have the star card here. This is about healing. And some, some of you even about being the star or wishing upon the star. You know, it, there's, there's a few meanings for this, but it's that life lesson of knowing that you yourself are the alchemist. You can transform it. You are the healer, right? You are the star you're wishing upon, truly. And when you see it that way, which you did, you learn the lesson, you can release all of the ick, right? You get in your full, your full journey. You, you're starting over. And that's what in the recently you had the idea of like, look, I completed my karmic cycles. And I want to start over. This has all happened just recently for you. 
that's exciting, right? Your high priestess energy, you did lean into your magic. You did lean into your gifts and you started creating and building the thing. It really is happening. It's already happened. Look at you. Oh, who flew out? Seven of wands. Look, stay on your ground, all right? I, I'm gonna put this back in the deck, but stay on your ground. If somebody tries to take you off course here, because I was about to get into incoming energies, don't allow it. Don't and, and, and actually, Gemini, I remember telling you in April that if anyone was standing in your way, it was you. And if I remember correctly, thank you, Spirit, it happened when I was looking at your incoming energies as well. Seven of Wands came out. Hmm. I'm remembering that like it was yesterday. Go back and look at April. But that came in. You had all these great cards and then Seven of Wands came in. And I, I felt it then too that you were doing the Gemini thing. Going back and forth. Don't do that this time. <laughs> all right. Let's look at your incoming energy. What's this? What's going to happen with Gemini here? Listen, when your starseed family calls, which they did, get into that fifth house creative mode. This has creativity like three different times, at least four or five different times. Mm, what are you guys about to do? All right, let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Eight, eight. That is creation, creation, creation. Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords, four of, four of Wands again. Y'all, look, when Spirit wants to say something, they are going to say it. Wow. All right. Eight of Pentacles. You're creating the thing. First of all, eight's number of uh, manifestation. You're making it happen. It's a number of building, creation, um, wealth, actually, prosperity, abundance, the Lemniscat, Infinity, all those things, the number eight. And then you came up again with eight, eight of cups. So wishing for more, wanting more. Because see, these eight cups are already full, right? And then she's up here <clears throat> looking, again, looking on what, eight stars? You know what, guys? 10, 15, 15, 17. So the star card is number 17, which reduces to number eight. And then you have eight here and eight here. To have three eights in a reading like that is, that is some lucky number insanity. So take it or leave it, Gemini. Go play the lottery, all right? Do not come after stars with Stasi. Do not blow your money on lottery tickets. I feel like I have to say it with you guys because... <laughs> I don't know, something about Gemini makes me want to just really tell you it's a mere suggestion for fun and entertainment only. However, 888 is a big deal. And mystically speaking, you're very lucky right now, Gemini. Free will. Do as you please. Nine of Cups is a card of celebration. And in the Witch's Tarot, this refers to the coven, happy times. So I see happy coven times ahead for you, for those who are involved. Now, um, this is a card of celebration. And I see that you're going to be doing a lot of um, celebration. You know, I don't know if some of you are getting married or going to a wedding, but this is fun. This is a, you know, Four of Wands can also be simply about community as well, because I don't know if you see them, that they are um, dancing in this deck, right? They're celebrating. And the, the wands are built in like as a post, right? And they're, <clears throat> they're dancing around it. They're very happy. So this is a card of great celebration. You've got this Knight of Swords energy. So this is like inspiration, right? So maybe you are inspired by love. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe you are inspired by this celebration, but you have some inspiration, some new new ideas that you are going to be taking action on. You've got a lot of good things coming in. I want to clarify this a little bit. I'm curious. Spirit, clarify for me this um, Knight of Swords energy, right? So we've got the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands, right? It's so... 
actually, let's do it this way. I'm gonna put this deck down and I'm gonna clarify with this deck. I usually use this deck for my love readings and I'm getting the sense that for some of you, you may have some incoming love energy in addition to all the great, hey, come back. Guys, these cards fly everywhere. I love them though. Mostly my fault, I don't have a tarot cloth down. But it's this golden foil tarot. And <clears throat> these cards were a gift, shout out. And uh, they have a mind of their own. They all do actually, but these cards are just as spicy as the gift giver and as the tarot reader. So, thank God. All right, so let's see, what is this love energy? What's love energy coming in for my lovely Geminis? Come back, that's too many cards. <laughs> All right, Golden Tarot, get yourselves under control. It would help if I was a better shuffler, but if you've been following me at all, that is not my strong point. I'm working on getting the download, right? That's all I can do. All right, one more time so I can get the energy in. Incoming love messages for Gemini. Incoming love in May. For, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. For Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Love, Gemini. What do we have? Five of Wands. Six of Swords. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords again. Okay. Ten of Wands. If you guys were in an unhappy relationship, I see that that's over. Because we've got the Five of Wands. You know, that's a card of, of a couple of things. That can be a card of like, you know, bickering, fighting, squabbling. But it can also be a card of like self-confidence. Lacking in it at, at times. Not having the confidence. Or not being confident about the situation you were in. <clears throat> Um, at, at one of these um, readings, because I, like I told you, I had to start over a couple of times. I got three of swords energy. So I don't know if some of you recently had been dealing with a breakup, which is why I kind of wanted to get into this because the reading we just did really did not address it until I got to your incoming energy. And I see the six of swords, like you're moving forward, moving ahead to calmer waters because followed by that again, 10 of swords, 10 of wands, those, you know, it's over. Whatever it is, you've put down the burden and the 10 of swords, you know, it's it's done. There's nothing left to, you, there's no more to, uh, to juice from that moment. And I don't feel like this is incoming. I know I just asked about incoming energies and it did this, but because this was the, let me, because see, the Knight of Swords <clears throat> came up again, and that's telling me that you were, you know, again, inspiration, you're taking action. For some of you, it's that you got information about third party energy and it caused conflict. So you left the relationship and you're at the tail end of getting it over and done with. And that's what I'm picking up that you guys recently ended the thing, ended the relationship. It was too much. You put down the burdens, and, you know, based on new information really and you finally got sick of it and so you moved on so now that we see that that's what had happened do we have new energy spirit for gemini new incoming love energies please new incoming love energy for gemini and if you guys are currently in a relationship where, where you're contemplating leaving this is the time to really consider that this isn't for you spirit is is giving confirmation this if you're in an energy that isn't feeling quite right or you're questioning it now is the time to rewrite your script gemini um because it will make way for that four of wands that celebration and you do have community to lean into you will not be alone all right here we go let's talk about incoming love five of pentacles hangman Tired of being left out in the cold, took another perspective. Eight of swords, closed off. Self-imposed boundaries, justice. Some of you might even have been going through a divorce or, or going to be going through a divorce or a separation that's going to require um, a mediator. 
Yeah, because you've got this Ace of Wands here. This is new, vibrant energy. This is, <clears throat> I often read this card as strong male energy coming in. Um, but this could also be that you need to take a new course of action. Um, because the Justice card showed up along with the Eight of Swords, Hanged Man. Um, which is, this is the second time the hangman came up for you. And this five of pentacles for me is a card of hope. Many people don't see it that way. I'll be honest, but you got to remember that the star card came up for you. Okay. And I don't know how reflective this is going to be, but this five of pentacles here, you've got these two people and they always say, you know, they're, they're feeling left out in the cold. They're walking away. But if you look, those five pentacles are brightly lit in that, you know, stained glass, what would be potentially a church window. And, you know, for all we know, they're going towards it for hope. And here you have the star card, another card of hope, right? So <clears throat> wish fulfillment and looking into the ethers and putting your energy there because the hanged man is like that perspective, that deep spiritual knowing so I'm wondering if you haven't gone through something in this relationship because you got another eight. Y'all, this is a lot of eights for you. Y yeah, it, whatever you're going to build, it's happening. It is It is happening. And in terms of love, you know, I, I have to be honest. If you had a recent breakup, you are definitely going to realize, um, <clears throat> what's it called? A new path ahead is what I'm trying to say. You know, th th there's this justice energy around that breakup that, you know, if there was any type of um, imbalance or anything that was unfair in those dealings, it will be resolved. This Ace of Wands is like really a gift from spirit giving you all the new um, tools. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, that you're going to be gifted all the new tools to um, manifest that true love. And part of the tools that you're going to be gifted is like a new path. And that's again, for those of you that are in a separation, if you have recently gotten into something, it was because you just ended all of this. I don't know. I'm really interested. This is this is a lot of energy. So comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. What else? Queen of Cups, that is like an overflow of emotions with the Hermit energy. Again, another spiritual enlightenment, number nine, going inwards. It's really like the philosopher thinking things through. Seven of Wands. We just had that. Standing your ground. Two of Pentacles, the balancing act. Yeah, I'm, I'm sensing that the relationship aspect is really a, a little bit of a challenge right now for some of you. You know, you've taken a lot of time to look at things differently. And this Queen of Cups tells me that you are, you know, emotionally stable. You know, you're looking at things as a Gemini would, right? Balanced from both sides. Hmm. And again, the Two of Pentacles. We talked about that earlier balance. You're at odds about something, Gemini. You're at odds. And, you know, you're really trying to see things from a more humble, I'm hearing a more humble perspective, which isn't that, wasn't that it? Practice humility. <gasps> Maybe that's why it's showing up twice. If you're still with me, Gemini, congratulations. I think we're getting, we're, we're bringing it home. Spirit is tying, <laughs> tying it together for us. Yes. So don't just approach life humbly, even your relationships. I'm getting this sense that like your partner is way more interested in your thoughts and ideas and all of that than you think. Hmm. I'm not sure. This is interesting. What else? Eight of Pentacles again. Studying. All right. Anything else in terms of love? eight of pentacles you've been really focused on on a relationship hmm anything else knight of cups queen of cups the the possibility is there the because i see that you want it i see that you want it 
And I also see that you've been a little closed off as well. We're back to that balancing act. Page of Wands. It's time to take action, you know, to get excited, to do the thing, to... Hmm. You're eager. It could be that somebody... Maybe a fire sign is coming towards you. Again, it could be a fire sign. It could be a water sign. And I know that earlier we definitely had some options. All right, let's see. Anything else? Oh, come back, come back. All right, we're going to do three more from this, they told me. Three more cards. All right. Love for Gemini. What can Gemini do with love in May? Three more, please. Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Chariot. Eight of Wands. Another eight. All right, listen. Whatever you're building, it's going to happen. This Queen of Wands, she's fiery. And this could be a man as well. We don't judge here. Queen of Wands, fiery, sexy, passionate, attractive. Everyone has their eye on the Queen of Wands. So it's telling me, Gemini, that like people are watching you, right? You are very attractive right now for a variety of reasons. Even if it's that you are attractive in what you are building in your business and your passions, but I'm sensing that on a romantic level, you are being looked at and it's going to come in quick. We've got the chariot here and we've got the eight of wands. So that is quick incoming motion. It, 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 you know, some of you may be um, traveling and may meet someone there, but I am getting this, uh, this energy. Why did I pick? Okay, two more. I'm getting this energy of, you know, forward action. Somebody has their eye on you and it's going to come in quick, but you've got to clear up this, this past energy of, um, whatever relationship you are ending because it's mucking up your, it's creating static in your manifestations. Truly. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles again. Mm. Four of Wands again. That's it. Four. I, I don't even know what else to say to you. Four of Wands. It, potential marriage. Guys, listen, Gemini. If you're in a relationship that's not working for you, don't be afraid. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's not serving you. You've got new energy coming in. You've got stable energy. Knight of Pentacles showed up more than once. Stable energy coming in. You are going to have options. So be open to the messages from spirit because it could lead to this amazing marriage. Potentially, if that's your thing, or a solid relationship whatever is of your best and brightest, whatever you like. All right. Um, let's see. What can Gemini manifest this month? <clears throat> let's see. With all of this, uh, some of these cards came in upside down, not upside down, but the wrong way. Um, <clears throat> what can Gemini build and create with all of this energy coming in what is the best and brightest message for manifesting with all these eights all right middle of the deck let's see right here right here what is this wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance i don't think that's hard for you gemini you always work for the best and brightest of others i, I don't know a single gemini that's selfish <laughs> Right, you guys are always thinking big picture, big picture. So I love this. I think that continue to have the best and brightest outcome in your mind for the greater good. Continue to create from a place of passion, love, desire. You guys do it so well. Get rid of any of those energies that aren't serving you. Move forward into your magic, like lean into your gifts, lean into your best and brightest the best stuff is coming your way. You've got the four of wands coming in twice. That's such an exciting card of joyous times and celebrations ahead. Twice it came up for you. You had number eight show up over and over and over again with the empress energy showing up twice, emperor energy, fours everywhere. 
These are solid, stable, manifesting energies that are here for the taking. All right, Gemini, all you have to do is lean into it and trust that the universe is working for you, not against you, and that this is the time to step through that portal and manifest that life you've always wanted. You're being asked to sit at the table and create your own script. And I cannot wait to see how this is going to turn out. I'm so excited for you. I hope that this inspired you on some level to move forward with something super creative and to step into the vibe of love, even if it's a little scary. I can see that some of you are going through it, but you're not alone, okay? So please feel free to share, like, and subscribe if you found that this resonated with you, but more importantly, be kind to yourself and each other, all right? And may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak Bring healing to all those who seek it, Gemini. You're an important part of the magic that we weave. We need your gifts. Don't hide. And until next time, shine brightly.